Hey there, Possum Pals. It's your good buddy Emily here, just stopping by to check in on you. How you doing? How's your mom and them? I do hope you all are doing well and that you're as ready as we are for the crew to get off this damn moon. I'll tell you, I'm uh, <laughs> kind of done with this one particular loud mouth as Lanty Hussy, but I suppose we'll soon see who's the better on boy. <laughs> oh God, I hope it's Eva. But uh, speaking of being the best, damn, I'm good at segues. As some of you may know, we have had the honor of being nominated in multiple categories for the 2019 Audioverse Awards. We are incredibly grateful for the nominations, and it would mean so much to us if you, our amazing friends and listeners, would pop on over to audioverseawards.net and cast your vote for your favorite Southern Tom Fools. But enough begging and babbling from me, I present to you for your listening pleasure, episode 35, Envoy the Silence. They say that a plan never survives contact with the enemy. And I would venture to say that that's never been so true as it was for the Epic Tracer crew in their attempt to infiltrate this prison. Would you all agree? Dude, thank you for inspiring so much like confidence and like yeah. really hyping us up yeah. and getting our getting I'll, our I'll like self esteem like ready to go for this intense finale. right out the gate. Thank you, I thank like you, it. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm just trying to get into the mode of being an envoy who antagonizes you. I'm just trying to get in <laughs> character. I've never Great. felt like Doing great an, so far. I've never felt an implied air quotes as much as when you said infiltrate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean like i think even though this is an audio only medium i'm certain everybody could could feel that as well yeah. uh yeah. you know that Stop. being said you guys have done a pretty decent job of adapting to the situation you know um bear grills yeah there there is there's a lot to be done still you have to deal with the warden who's right in front of you. You have to deal with Sedona, who's not feeling great. You have the Galt of Five that are in the infirmary, and you have a couple security robots trying to beat down the door. Then there's the matter of the escape, the escape from here with all of said people. So we'll get to that, I guess, when we get to that. Um, but, you know... Prior to that, I'm going to drop a little surprise on you guys. Hmm. Oh I don't like surprises. So can I, get some di- can I get some diddly-doos? Skid it up. We see the bustling community of the Nakondas colony before us. Various colonists are working throughout the compound, some fetching water from the moisture collector, some chasing rogue hobgars, and some building more domiciles. It is a beautiful, rare day on the Condus, as the mist has given way to pure sunlight. We see a pimpled kid playing hacky sack with a shirin. We see a grease-covered woman arguing with a man who is determinedly apologetic and we see an amber-skinned android with white hair, Sedona. 
Sedona looks across the colony with a satisfied smile and reflects on the relative peace she has found here in Madeline's Landing. She looks up to the sun to bathe in its warm light, and then with a squint, her eyes notice movement from far above. She shields her brow and tries to focus on the object, but the sun's brightness makes it difficult. Finally, with some strain, her android eyes hone in and she can see something small and green plummeting to the surface of the planet. The object is spinning in an uncontrolled freefall, a fiery tail now marking its trail. Sedona remains locked in on the object and her eyes follow it all the way to the tree line where it disappears. Then a few moments later, it makes a deep rumble of impact. Sedona quickly runs over to Ludvar's stable. Madeline himself is there reviewing some of Ludvar's work on the hover trikes and smiles amiably at Sedona's approach. However, his warm expression is quickly replaced with worry as he sees Sedona's urgency on her face. What is it? Madeline asks. Something has just crashed a few miles from here. I am going out to see if there are any survivors that need help. All right, take Ludvar and Corsica. I will prepare the temple for the injured, if there are any. Sedona nods and looks to Ludvar, who has already fired up a hover trike. A few hours later, we see Sedona, Ludvar, and Corsica huddled around the wreckage of a small ship, an unmanned drone. The paint is emerald green and bearing the heraldry of the Aslanti Star Empire. The three colonists are looking at, ch at each other in a mixture of fear and awe. What do you think this means, Sedona? Corsica asks. Sedona only shakes her head as she watches Ludvar attempt to pull the log data from the remains of the drone. Corsica looks at Sedona, hoping for more of an answer, but does not press the issue and begins to wring her hands in apprehension. After what seems like ages, Ludvar finally lets out a muffled grunt of satisfaction and stands up, handing his data pad to Sedona. It reveals that the drone had been knocked off course in the drift by an anomaly and by chance had ended up in the orbit of Nicondus. After running its pre-programmed planet scan, it detected the presence of an ancient Aslanti ship, the Royal Venture. A few days later. Sedona is in her living quarters at her desk. She is deep in thought and pouring over a three foot by three foot cube. There are pages of notes all over her study and her brow is furrowed. Finally, with a gasp of frustration and a push of her chair, she slides back from her desk and her shoulders slump. She shakes her head and picks up a notepad. She had always been fond of paper in such a digital world. Her curiosity and thirst for knowledge proves useful here as she has a message to write and she cannot trust the info infospheres to intercept it. And with a smile, she begins to write. My dear Ziva, I know it's been close to a year since I have last visited the pools of paradise, and I must say, I'm missing those luxuries more than ever. As she writes each of the names in her letter, she remembers them fondly. She thinks of Noriko Ziva Rajni, and the amount of power and good she has achieved in such a short amount of time. Sedona has sent many androids, not to mention a few other rescued slaves of varying races, to the pools of paradise after that first one, and they had all kept correspondence with Sedona, often going to great lengths to expound on the madam's kindness. Sedona only hopes that her grisly means of dealing with those that offend her has abated with age and wisdom. Her mind then floats to Oren Vance, the man who endured his own death only to be pulled back from the brink with more questions. He never fully acquiesced to his mysticism in the time he piloted for Sedona, but boy did he love to fly. The android smiles as she thinks of some of the harrowing maneuvers Oren pulled in their time together, and then frowns as she thinks about the boredom she has probably imposed on him since her retirement. She hopes desperately that his grounding hasn't driven him down a road of depression and self-doubt. Well, he will have something to fly for now. As Sedona writes Felonile 
Morena's name in the letter, she hesitates. Should she embroil this well-meaning mechanic in these affairs? He has such a big heart and a sort of unscarred by war soul. Yet she had made it clear to him when he took the job on the Epic Tracer that it would be for a cause, though neither Sedona or Fell could have had this particular cause in mind. She thought long and hard and then came to the conclusion that Felno had much more in him than just fixing up the dents on her ship. The rest of the crew would need his pragmatism and his heart to get through what was coming. Sedona then chuckles as she writes Michael Agamasson's name after having to erase it from writing Titania Mike the first time. There is no doubt that Ziva and her crew would need the strength and will of Mike, but Sedona had a suspicion that Mike may need this more than them. Mike and Zeno had done well for themselves after Mike's trial. They had turned their court-ordered civil service into a full-fledged business with the Apollo Protection Agency. Yet, she couldn't help but wonder if Michael was missing the action of mercenary work. In any case, his bombac bombastic presence would, will be necessary if they are going to succeed in what Sedona believes will be her own rescue. And then, finally, there is Zeno. Sedona puts his name on there because there is no way that Zeno 5 would let Michael go without him. But she certainly has a moment of hesitation. She never got a full measure of the android. He was soft spoken, yes, and a very talented scientist to boot. But he never talks much about what he was researching, and when she vetted him, well, some of the labs he was working in had questionable ethics at best. Yet, Zeno was always loyal to Michael. He had a wealth of knowledge, and his understanding of the drift would be absolutely necessary to the crew's success. She signs her name, folds up the letter, and walks out to an outgoing jump ship that has been slated to deliver mail, biological samples from Nicondus, and other personal items back to Absalom Station. She slides the envelope in the parcel chute and looks to the skies, though now they have returned to their mist-shrouded state. Three days later, the Berezad arrives in the Condus. The next day, Sedona is captured, beaten, and sent to the prison moon of Golta. Whoosh! skip a pop pop <laughs> Big shack. Man's not hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's a there's a little bonus flashback for you. That was good. Mm -hmm. That was a awesome. combat uh, flashback. Nice. Love yeah. it. So so First this is all, who you're fighting for. Yeah. This is who you're fighting for. And who you're trying to free from this god awful warden that is just ruining Ziva's day? She's just a real bitch, <laughs> y'all. Just she's rude. First off, so there's that. It's got a rude so there's that. Yeah. So there's, that. <laughs> there's there's that. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's set aside the fact that she's a high ranking member of a fucking fascist regime, but like she's rude. Though. Yeah, yeah, like a prison warden at that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but she's rude. She's also rude. Okay? <laughs> and, I, and I'm sure this is a privatized right? prison. <laughs> <laughs> she's just a mean um, person, so, yeah. A, hein a true heinous bitch. True. Well, I think so. Truly. Ain't got no chill. <laughs> we are already in initiative order, and I believe we left it on the warden herself's turn right. after... Aaron just blew the brains out of an Aeon guard with his mind. Uh, so both the Aeon guards are dead in this room. So you have only the warden left, but you still have the sonic debilitator to contend with. Uh, it's still messing you guys up. So let's get back into it, shall we? Are you guys ready to take this warden down? Fuck yeah. yes. Yes. Immediately. No deaths, yes. right? But no no deaths, right? No deaths, except no deaths. for her. Except for her. 
Yeah. You better you do can't. realize you just ruined it. Somebody's gonna die now. <laughs> that bitch. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so if you remember, down, okay. Like, Ilestra, or Ilestra, call, call her by warden. her real name. Ariola uh, Yeah. Ariola. <laughs> Ariola Skrillex. Ariola Skrillex. <laughs> also, wasn't Olestra she... the thing that made people poo their pants a while back? That's... Okay, we're not going down that route. Just saying. The, I mean, the warden <laughs> I mean... has antagonized Zeno the round before, and so she is going to now take shots on the machine meat. Which uh, should be a no, metal band uh, of course, name, of by course. the way. Bitch. What's that? Machine, Machine meat, meat should be a metal band somewhere. Machine meat. And they should tour with Cannibal Corpse. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, okay. So she's going to full attack on Xeno. Uh, I, I was going to say I want to enact my bodyguard feed on Xeno. All right. So it gives them plus two to AC, right? Yep. And minus two to yours. Yep. Is she? What weapon is she using? She's using a laser. Watch out. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can do that too. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's All a right, thing so I use. Zeno, your AC just went up by six, but you're prone now. <laughs> oh. Hit the deck. Okay. So that's pretty good because she, I mean, it's, it's, it's essentially a 10 point variance here now against your AC. Yeah, because she's got minus four. Nice. Yeah. All right. So. She rolled a 18. Does that hit your adjusted AC? Adjusted AC is plus, uh, and that's an energy, so plus six. Mm-hmm. Yes, it does. Yes. Oh, uh, really? Man. Right on it, actually. Yes. Right would, on it. Yep, yeah, because he's only wearing second skin right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bitch. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's a nice try. That's nice try. Still... That's just how the right dice roll, you know? Max damage for 11 damage. <sighs> Fucking All right. bullshit. Let me see. Uh, st- yeah, that that puts me from my current nine to, to zero. Yes, to zero. To dying. So you're dying. I'm dying. And I already declared both attacks on you. So the second one's going to come at you too. Okay. Yeah. He said, I'm getting this kill out the way. I'm going to go ahead and kill somebody. But because he's still prone. 17. Because yeah, it's he's... all the things still still apply. I got you. Mm-hmm. All the things still apply. So it's a 17 against your adjusted AC. Yeah, and that does not hit. That does not hit. Yes. EAC, 17 does My not EAC hit. My EAC is okay, 12 so plus a 6 from the watch out. Puts me at 18 EAC. Okay. Okay, now all wait right. a minute. Hold on. The watch out is a plus 4. So he would get an additional two from Mike. But it's only two for the triggering attack. Yes, yes, plus two from Mike, yes. Yeah. Well, being prone gives you a bonus anyways, though, Zach. Yeah. Mike, you're up. Um, First of all, I want to give a shout out to my girl Ziva because collaborating on that track with me probably saved Zeno's life, (laughs) even though he got hit the first time. Yes, son. Second... I'm going to uh, walk straight up. Yeah, he like turns and winks at you. Uh, but he walks straight up <laughs> to Areola Skrillex. And <clears throat> he's going to try to punch her like right in the gut. Knock the wind out of her. Okay. Ooh, 13. That will miss. All right. Uh, you need to roll a fortitude save as well. All right. I can do that. Nineteen. Yeah, you're good. You're good. All right. Zeno, you can either spend a resolve to stabilize, or you could spend, like, I forget how much to stabilize and come back with one... HP. I'll spend one resolve to stabilize. Oh, okay. How much res- you have? You don't use resolve, right? Other than for short, re- you you have all your resolve, is what I'm saying. Uh, y- uh yes. Well, no, no, okay, no, no. Great. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. okay, perfect. 
Felino, you are up. All right, Vel's going to activate his combat tracking as his move action and then shoot at her with the uh, overcharge. Okay. Or, I always get those mixed up. Overcharge, overload. Yeah, overloads when I overload their thing. So I'm overcharging my weapon. Okay. Pew, pew. Well, single pew. And <laughs> let's see. A nine. That's a miss. That's going to miss. Well, it'd be a 10 because of the combat tracking, but. Boo this um, man. Yeah. That's a miss. That's a definite miss. Uh, all right, Ziva. All right, Ziva is... What are you going to do against, like, your, like, all of a sudden, b- very quickly became your arch nemesis? Mm-hmm. Well, she sees Zeno go down, and she's not super happy about that. Um, but she knows that if she gets up in that space, she probably will go down as well. So from afar, she is going to uh, pop off a get him. Mikhail, take okay. her down now! And then is going to fire a shot with her tactical semi-auto pistol. All right. She's going to get a little soft cove, but sh- you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? Yeah. Wait, oh, good. Michael Scott. Fucking A. An eight. Yeah, no, no. So. <laughs> you are just despicable, my dear. Go back. Leave. Give up. You could maybe be a janitor here. You shut your fucking gob. <laughs> <laughs> Oren, you're up. <laughs> oh, sorry, Ziva goes to say something Oren. and Mike says that and she's like, oh, well, no, that's that's pretty much it. Yes, shut Oren your gob. Oren chuckles. What, what he but, said. <laughs> uh, I have to roll a constitution save, don't I? Oh, oh yes, shit. you do too, Ziva. Fortitude, yeah, fortitude so save, excuse me. Well. God, uh, I'm, so, I'm, I'm so bad at that. Yeah. Okay. Fella, you're good. Oren, you're good. All right. So Oren looks up. I mean, I'm directly under the. You're sickened. Uh, I'm sorry, Nariko Ziva. You are sickened. All right, go ahead, Oren. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm directly underneath the disruptor, right? Where's mm-hmm. the disruptor? I can shoot it from here. Like I'm, I'm Ziva and Oren are yes, currently yes. taking cover in this uh, behind this counter. Right, they're on this countertop in the center of the room. And directly above is... Right. All right, Orin looks up. Full attack. Might as well. Against the disruptor. Okay. Might as well. Since he's not sickened. I don't know. Both 14s. Okay. They both hit. Okay. One's for five damage, uh, the other's for six damage. Okay, all that goes through. It's still there, but you get a sizable chunk out of it. Yeah, boy. Super sizable chunk. All right. He grunts, <clears throat> and that's my turn. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, Orin just aims his, his rifle straight up. He goes, bah, bah, um, and it puts two bullet holes in the disruptor. Okay, what is the warden going to do? I guess... Is anybody going to get fell, by the way? I should have stabilized. Fuck, I'm sorry. Fell, I'm so sorry. Not fell, but Zeno. Mm, oh, Zeno. shit. Yeah. I'm Zeno. already stabilized. Keep up. Zeno okay. already stabilized himself with a, okay, great. with a resolve point. Okay. All right. So, let's see here. Uh... You got really got it pinned here. Okay, she is going to. Move. She's going to take an opportunity attack, I guess, from Mike. You goddamn right. Smack her. She's talked enough shit. So, yeah, she just tries to brush past Mike. He reaches out with his fist and... 26, gut what'd punch. What'd you get? Oh, that's going to hit. Fuck you her. just like punch her in the stomach as she's walking by and she's... <laughs> um, and you find out that she has very bad breath. 
too. <laughs> 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 you, you old stank mouth bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and she's going to look right it. at you, Ziva. And she's going to just smile. She's like, oh, you're, you, you, you're friends with him. That, that machine meat on the floor, that's the one you're friend with, yes? This, he's with you. I'm friends you with your mom. Worth- <laughs> oh, good enough. And she shoots Zeno again. No! Hold up. Hold up. Okay, no, no. He, he, she just ran. She didn't do like a, a withdrawal. No, that's why she took the... Okay. All right. Just make sure. All right. Just trying to save my ass. Yeah. Okay, so another 18. Another 18. Mike, you were not able to do that attack of opportunity because of the bodyguard. You'd already used your reaction. Then don't let me, God. That's on you. Yeah, I just remembered. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) But I still learned that she has Um, halitosis. You still learned that she had halitosis. Because she laughed at you instead of got the wind knocked out as she dodged your fist that you didn't actually do. Um, And she shoots Zeno the 18, that's going to hit, yeah? Fuck. Yeah, of course Even it's Even with the plus hit. four? All right. It's well, the same uh, as it's, last time. It's the same roll. It's the same as last time. I'm sorry. I yeah. don't remember his stuff. Actually, yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly it's less. On, yeah. It's actually... Oh, because the bodyguard lasts the whole round, right? That's right. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's going to be... I mean, it doesn't matter. One damage knocks you out again, but it's a total of 10 damage um, well, and you're stabilize, down again. Stabilize does not mean that I'm at 1 HP. That, stabilize no, but it just brings means you to I'm zero. zero. Yeah. Stabilize right, just means that right, I'm at zero. But okay. the, any damage knocks you back unstable. Okay. All right. So I'm unstable. So yes, you are okay. now back to dying. Yes. And then the second shot is going to be at you. She can't, full, she can't full she, attack. Oh, she can't do that. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Uh-huh. sorry. Uh-huh. I'm getting some 2E stuff mixed up. And you're getting too bloodthirsty is what you're doing. I am. I am. All right. Mike, you're up. All right. <clears throat> Mike's going to uh, look down at Zeno, and, uh, you know, that's his best friend. So, like, he saw him go down. He looked all right, and now he just got shot while he's down. And, dude, like... Mike's eyes turn fucking red. Amber circuitry is flickering right now. Metaphoric. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. So he runs straight at her. Another punch. Natural 20. It's a 28. That's what's up. There you go. There you go. That is that vengeance punch. (laughs) It's that vengeance punch. Uh, Nat 20. Holy shit. Confirm. Confirm it. Please confirm. Twenty-seven. That is a confirmation. <laughs> That's a natural nineteen. On. <laughs> I've Holy already got the card shit. drawn and everything. I'm, okay, I'm ready so for this. Okay, so critical hit, critical punch. All right. So kinetic, seeing stars. All right. Crit effect. The target suffers a twenty percent mischance. For 1d4 rounds. Oh my god. 20%. What's the name of it? It's called Seeing Seeing Stars. Stars. Oh, so you punched her so hard you rocked her vision. Like literally just... Yeah. (laughs) Uh, You need to roll a fortitude save, but that'll go through either way. Um, And so you're going to do 24 damage total to this warden. As you just punch her out of pure ferocity and anger. Oh, you are sickened. Yep, first one I failed. Rolled an 11. Yep, sorry. What what does that mean? I should let you guys call the numbers (laughs) for our listeners. Uh, It's a condition, but it basically gives you a minus two to everything you can click it on your sheet. Yeah. And it'll do everything for you, but it basically gives you minus two to everything. Zeno. You have to spend another resolve point to stabilize. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. So how many resolve points do you have? Four. Four left? Yes. Okay, alright. 
Fel, you're up. Uh, Fel's just gonna body block or put himself between the warden and Zeno and take another shot with overcharge. Uh, 22 to hit. That will hit. Right, did so you roll your fortitude save? I did not. Mm-hmm. Let me do that. But I've already got the sickened condition. I'm still sick. So you got remain sickened. Yeah. Uh, but uh, 22 hits nonetheless for 5 damage plus roll that. That overcharge damage is an extra 1. Oh, extra 1. Yep. Wow. Wait. Overcharge okay. damage? Why, why? Hang on, does, over, okay. does overcharge uh, get effect by sickened? Is it all damage still? Yeah. I mean, it's... Okay. Yes, all damage. Yep. All right. So that's a total of six damage. Okay. Yep, that is Fel's turn. All right, Ziva. She just, like, straight up is messing with you, has singled you out and just shot your friend helpless on the ground. And now I was looking at you. What do you do? Okay, I have a really... And if you were off target before, you can take that off because it's expired. I, I took it off because we... It, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, let me... Do I roll my fortitude now? Before my turn? Yes, it started your turn. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, quick question. Does she at all look hurt to did... Oh, a fucking five's not going to get it, I bet. So I'm you're sick and I mean, you would have to roll a medicine check to tell specifics. I mean, you know she's been hit a couple times. Would that be my turn? It would medicine be an action, roll. yeah. Okay, well, then I'm not that curious. Um, so we're going to stay behind this little <laughs> bit of cover that we've got. <laughs> no, no, no. Fuck Zeno. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> whatever. Well, it's not. Me <laughs> doing right. a medicine check on her isn't going to help Just you. Oh, oh my uh, god. Mm, mm, uh, Alright, okay. We'll see ya. I can't help you if I'm dead. <laughs> uh, so we're going to throw another get em out there. And say, My god! For the love of god, take her out! And then she's going to level her uh, pistol one more time. <sighs> okay. Come on, please, please, please. Four, uh, no, uh, 16? Why are you getting a 16? Get him. It would just be a 15. Two. Get him is only plus one. Don't make me mad. Get him is only plus one. Well, good for you. You caught me. Um, yeah, no, 15. <laughs> you were just trying to <laughs> lie your ass off. <laughs> yeah, so 15 is a miss, and, sh- and, and the warden just shakes her head at you. <laughs> I don't even care anymore. She's Oren? Free action flips uh, her off. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, go, first of all, roll that 40. That 40? Ah, oh, that 40 fort, huh? Yeah. I'm not really sure. about 40 that. Too. You are still sick? I know. I'm now sick. Are I'm, you now sickened? I'm now sickened. Yeah, I okay. wasn't before. And Orange is that goddamn thing. And he's going to shoot it uh, again twice. Okay. But, I mean, I know Zeno's in trouble. Well, but... no, he stabilized himself. So he is stabilized. All right, tell me okay. your rolls. Sucks. I get an 18 on the first attack. That's a hit? For, for two damage, because I'm uh, sick. So that's not going to get us through. No, and the 15 on the second attack will hit, but the three damage that I roll because of sick will not does get not through. through. Uh, and the warden looks at you, Orn, and says, You could join us, you know? You seem to have pure blood. Maybe Shut the you fuck have up, some you ed- heinous bitch! Orin yells back at her from <laughs> from behind the counter. Uh, she's going to take a guarded step away from Mike and shoot at Ziva. I have cover! Yeah, you have a little cover. Tell me, though, does it, is it enough to stop a 25 from going through? You know what? Just like fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it okay. does. Yeah, it does. 
Don't even. All right, six that. damage. Minimum damage. That's minimum. Oh god. Yup. How you looking? Twenty-two uh, out of twenty-eight. <laughs> okay. All right, Mike. All right, Mike. Uh, seeing the what just went down, <clears throat> uh, he's gonna step up to her and swing again as he shouts to Zebra, "Like you might want to get like your fucking dope sword in this thing." Um, and yeah, he's gonna punch a punch, punch, punch it, punch. Full action. I can't. I had to move towards her. Seventeen. Hold on. Uh, Before you do that, I need to go back. Yeah, you. She do. was stunned. Yeah, she needs do. to roll some. She needs to roll. Oh, she has a twenty percent miss chance. chance. Yeah. 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 That's right. Oh, oh snap! Oh, she, Finger she I appreciate 61, your honesty. So she's good. She's good. Wow. But yeah. Uh, thank thank you for keeping me honest. Uh, Mike, you rolled a what on the hit? Seventeen. And that is against which? KAC? Did he roll his constitution save first? Oh, no, I did. Yeah, I'm just keeping everybody honest. There's a lot to keep up with in this boss fight. 21. You are not sickened. So, I'll take my sickened off, but that'll increase my my roll, right? Should increase both. It'll increase both. It'll bring your roll up to a 19, which is a hit, and your damage to 12. Nice. Okay. Punch her, right, punch her right in the titty. Tit punch. Right in the tit. <laughs> uh, that looks like it hurt. That <laughs> looks like it hurt. Um, and she, for the first time, looks a little unsure. Mm-hmm. And she looks at you with, like... She, she snaps her attention to you and looks at you a little like <sighs> Zeno you are unconscious but stable correct because you used another yes resolve that's last correct. turn yes okay alright Fel you're up alright uh, if Fel were to fire from here would she have cover from Mike being yes. in the way alright so Fel's gonna that's step to first you need side. to roll that fortitude save will do. Uh, 15. You're good. Alright, so Fell steps to his left a little bit to get a shot around Mike. Uh, takes another... Well, I'm just going to do a normal attack this time with a laser rifle. That is a 5 on the attack, and Fell moves back in front of Zeno. He can't do that. This isn't 5e. You can't split movement. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, okay. yep. mm -hmm. I always forget about that. Oh. Alright, that's Fell's turn then. What shitty. Uh, let's see here. Pip -pip -pip. It's alright though. See. Still got cover from Mike. Alright, what does she want to do? Okay. Just empty the load into her head. Come on, man. I guess she is going to. Commit suicide. Yeah, man. Just <laughs> the only the honorable yeah. action. Like Hitler, like Hitler himself. Yes. Exactly. And the yeah, going gets she's hot. The t I guess she's gonna full attack Ziva. I don't know. She's gonna full attack Ziva. Here we go. You know what? Bring mm -hmm. it on, I still think cunt. You should reconsider with that suicide. You know. Think oh, that's a 19 on the die, so that brings it up to a that's 31. A Wait, what? Got 31 to hit. Even with all the minuses? For the minus four? You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah the miss full chance. attack. Twenty percent miss chance. I'm sorry, I'm she's doing a full attack, so that'll be a thirty one minus four. You're right, Josh. That brings it down to a twenty seven. And, and my cover? Makes it. You have a little cover. <laughs> right, which brings yes. your AC up to a what? I Not don't know. You tell me. No, uh, she rolls 57 on them, miss chance, so she's good. Um, so that's going to hit. The first one hits for seven damage. Super. You still up? Yep. All right, second attack coming at you. Oh. Cross my fingers for you, All girl. Right. 
So, so that's a 17. Does that hit you? What's your AC? Uh, my actual, I'm sorry, is it kinetic or energy? It's uh, not, it's energy. Okay, so my AC is 14. Plus two for cover. 16. For the, for the partial cover that you have. Mm-hmm. So that brings it to a 16. Yeah. That's still going to hit. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, max damage for 12. Ziva is still up, but she's looking woozy. We have... I don't want to tell you, but I have three hit points left. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Well... Maybe well, I use a healing potion. I'm just saying. Just throwing that out there. Sorry, Mike. It's it's a, you're up. Uh, Mike's good. First of all, fortitude save. Yep, yep, yep. Fourteen. Okay. What'd you get? Yep, you're fine. Cool. Uh, Mike's gonna full attack. Ziva. I'm gonna forget that shit out of here. Oh, you're, oh, you're funny. You're, you mean the warden. You're gonna full I attack the warden, not I Zeta. Oh. Oh, you're not funny. No, he's not. <laughs> lame. It's fucking lame. I got a 14 on the first one and a 20 on the second one. Alright, so the 14's gonna miss, but that 20's gonna hit. That's 14 damage. Ooh, Mike's swinging big. Yeah, he's, he's in full-on, like, whack. slugger mode, you know? And I'm trying to, like, tear up the body, bro. Like, I'm not headhunting. I'm trying to break ribs and shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you definitely bruised ribs, if not broken one. Probably broke that lower rib uh, with that critical hit. Um, but now you're just, like, just, just I mean, you just internal, internal damage left and right on this thing. Okay, Zeno... You won't just lay there like an old chump. Fell, what you gonna do? Uh, Fell's going to take another shot at her. Normal shot. Again. Okay. Uh, it's an 11 to hit. Fortitude save, too, for, by the way. Yeah. Uh, 12 on the fortitude. Right, so you are sickened. Still. That's Ziva. Fell's turn. Okay. Okay, Ziva's gonna go ahead and roll that fortitude, and it's gonna be great. You are it's, sick in. It's a nine. It's not great. <laughs> um, I'm also going to not do anything. Actually, I'm going to drop down behind, like crouch behind the actual uh, desk, and uh -huh. pop pop a. Uh, Oh, it's not called a cure wounds here. It's ser serum of healing, Mark Two, because okay. I'm dying. And that All is right. Three D eight. Is that accurate? Correct. Let's yep. see. Are you fucking kidding? Okay, sixteen. 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 Than not what bad. I read. Not bad. I mean, it's not bad. It's not. Could be worse. Great, but it's not bad. I'm out, and I'm out of potions. I mean, I'm out of spell slots. I just one. Does that? Notes crouch constitute my entire movement uh if you want it to count for a uh, half cover as opposed to i partial. do i really do okay. yes then yes so that is the extent of my turn then okay you now have a plus four to your ac while you're in half cover okay okay Oren, you're up you're gonna try to finish this thing off let's start with a fortitude save how yeah, about that yeah let's start with one natty one <laughs> Natty one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, you are mm. sickened. Yeah, I figured. Um, yeah, dude, I'm going all in. Let's do it. Two more rounds. And I don't hit with either of them a 10 and a 5, and that's going to empty Orin's uh, a magazine. A 10 hits. A 10 a hits. A 10 hits. A 10 hits. Well, then that hits for 6 yes. damage. You destroy the sonic debilitator. Thank oh, oh thank God. Thank you. Oh thank God. God. Oh thank God. Um 
let's see, reloading is part of a movement action, so I can't do that, it right? It is your move like, action. It is your move action yeah. to reload. All right, so Oren's yeah, rifle's empty action. at this point, and uh, that, Tell but you I'm what, no though. longer sickened, right? Or I'll sick until the end of the round? You are you are sickened until the start of the next okay. your next turn, because the effect happened, and then you just got to recover from it. All right. All right, however, I will give you an inspiration for being dedicated to taking that out, because it was fucking up your party. And we're going to do something new here, y'all. Okay. This okay. is part of our part of our new co-sponsor and inspiration. Um, so our Patreon subscribers have given us a message to be read out along with when I give out an inspiration. So I'm going to roll at random to determine who is going to support you in this inspiration. You ready? All right. All right, cool. That sounds awesome. Let's do it. All right. So, <laughs> fittingly, I guess, enough, uh, Brandon Kada is going to be supporting you on this inspiration. Shout out to Brandon. Brandon from Frederick, Maryland. One, I mean, that all we could say is thank you, Brandon, for what yeah. what you've done for us. Absolutely. He doesn't have a particular message to give you other, you know, I assume he just says good luck. But Brandon will be sponsoring this inspiration, so you have a BK inspo. Thank you kindly. <laughs> This inspiration Very brought much. to you by Burger nice. King. Well, it's like it's like <laughs> as we treasure it. <laughs> it's like as you do it, you just have a vision of your head of some random white guy in Maryland that you don't know, but it, it heartens you. you know? yeah, his, yeah, his his handle Sturks. on our Discord is Kafka on the Shore. So, thanks thanks again, uh, and good job, Oren. So it is now the warden's turn. What the hell does the warden want to do? She want to take somebody out with her? Why don't she get off somebody's dick? How about that? If she tries to, to agree it, with that. if she tries to shoot a ranged attack, doesn't she suffer an opportunity attack? Yep. Yes, she does. She does. That's why she's been five foot stepping back every from turn. Mike every time. And if turn. he hasn't okay. said something, he might have forgotten it. Just saying. <laughs> sorry, man. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> My bad on that. I wasn't being a team player. All right. She's going to... Y'all, she's going to go for it. Go for, for She what? is going to take an opportunity attack from Mike. Um, and she is going to come over to Zeno. What? Are you it's fucking part of kidding a move me? It's part of a move action. She's gonna draw her dueling sword. What? Can well, we, she's can gonna we get a miss chance. Attack first, the opportunity. Uh, yeah, you can. Twenty-four. So yeah. would you roll? Yeah. Twenty-four. Okay, that hits. Twelve damage for twelve. Okay. And how long does that miss chance last? How many rounds? Forever. One d four. I thought it was one d four. Rounds. One d four rounds. So we get the Go ahead and roll it. We've done three rounds, so if you roll... Uh, who got that crit? You did, right, Heath? Yes. Go ahead and roll the d4. You better roll a fucking four. Three. Oh, three. three. Okay. So she is going to attempt a coup de grace on Zeno. Coup de grace. Coup de grace. I think it's coup de grace, actually. Nope. It's like Mardi Gras. It's okay. coup de grace. We'll look it up. It's coup de grace. It's I, th it's, I think it's, it's coup de grace. It's French. Actually. Um, the pronunciation is important right now because what is, is that Zeno is in a desperate situation here. She's looking at both back and forth between Mike and Ziva, although she can't really see Ziva. So I guess she's looking directly at Mike and she's as a free action saying out to Ziva, hide if you want, dear. I am going to end this worthless pile of meat right here in front of all of you. Amber circuitry is flickering uh, right now. All right, so the way this works, as 
Oh, she can't do that. It's a full action to coup de grace. Yeah. So it's she's absolutely, just... it, it is coup de grace, by the way. It's coup de grace, yes. Credit where credit is due, it is coup de grace. Okay, she is going to just do a normal attack on Zeno and just start str draining that resolve. Now you know what she's trying to do, though, so you have a round to stop her from doing this. But she does get a, an attack with her sword. 21 is going to hit Zeno. So take another resolve point right off. It's off. Or no, you were stable. You were stable, so you don't have to yeah. take it off till your turn. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. right. That's right. Thank you for reminding me. Yep. Stable. Yep. All right, Mike. It's a tense situation. What dude, are you going to do? Just run at her and tackle her, Look, dude. Hey, like, God, that's don't what tell Mike me would what absolutely. to do. God damn. Okay, I'm sorry. Like, no, I'm not. I'm turn. not. I'm just like. Okay. I was about to say I'm going to bull rush her, which if it's successful, mm. knocks her away uh, X amount of feet. Uh, All right. Yeah. Bull rush. <clears throat> Absolutely. So Absolutely. you can make a bull rush as a standard action or as part of a charge in place of a melee attack. You can only bull rush an opponent who's no more than one size category larger than you. Uh, attempts to push an opponent straight back without Is doing there harm. Uh, if it's successful, your target is pushed back five feet. For every five by which your attack exceeds your opponent's CMD, you can push the target back an additional five feet. Okay. So, I just, I just, I just roll a melee attack, or how do I do that? Um. Yes, you're gonna roll a melee attack. Okay. It's going to be a 20 plus your level plus your strength. Uh, 12. No, no, don't roll that. Oh, don't That's roll not that? right. Okay. That's not right. A 20 plus what? No, uh, no, that's right. That's right. Is it? It's the same numbers. 20 plus your 4, which is your BAB, plus 4, which is your strength. Yep. Okay. Uh, so a 12. Yeah, that's not going to hit. Okay. But, that but is not going to hit. In doing that, I, I am like right here, buyer. Yeah, you did get right up in her in her face for yeah. sure. Although you'd be more like right here because it's a straight line, right? Because it was a straight line from where you were. Uh, uh, it can it, Zeno. It, it doesn't have to be a straight line because it it can be as part of a charge or it can just be a standard action. Okay, Zeno, you using another resolve? Do you have any more? Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I do. Just ten. So how many are you at? I'm at three. Three. Fell. You're up. All right. Uh, four to. Uh, no, no four two saves. Yeah, so I can take the sickening condition off. You can. Yep. And I mean, hell, I'm I'm limited for options at this level, so I'm just I'm gonna shoot her again. Like I don't. Fell's not a strong right, boy. You can't gonna, really push her back. That's gonna provoke an opportunity attack. Then I'll take a five foot step back and do the same. Okay. Twelve to hit. It's gonna miss. Or thirteen. Dude. Yeah. What's going on with your rolls tonight, my man? I don't know, man. I don't it's know. Rough. It's awful. Okay. Ziva, you're up. There is a situation brewing on the other side of this counter. What is the captain? going to do so Ziva is was peeking kind of over the corner of, or the edge of the desk and saw her just move across the fucking room to attack somebody who's already down her android that she's trying to protect that she's the captain of so she's going to kind of just like jump over the desk and cut all the way around to get into flanking with Mike. So she goes around the top okay. so that she doesn't you know, go through her space. Uh, and she is... Mm. What's up? Okay. I mean, that's questionable if that doesn't provoke, but I'll give it to you. How? Just because we're not actually using the grid properly. Okay. You know? But that's fine. I'll okay. let it go. 
Uh, well, as she's going, she's like doing the fun anime run, and she just calls her sword <laughs> to her hand, and she's gonna oh, try and shit. attack. You better do that. You uh, better Naruto. Come run. on, come on, get it, get it. Fucking a! Oh my god. I mean, you gotta get it. <gasps> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, oh, yes! Natural twenty. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh. Did you just Sheesh. save me? Shit. Yeah, Did boy. You just save me. Comes fucking Naruto running around the corner with her sword, like coming around her back, and just like fucking baseball, oh like oh swings into God. this bitch. And, and, and how- the whole while, she's like, she looks down at Zeno as she comes around the corner, and then she looks up and meets eyes with Mike, and like acknowledges flanking rules. Okay. And boom. <laughs> All, All right. So God. roll to confirm that crit. Oh no. Um Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I don't confirm very often. Is that just a D twenty? Or is it another attack? No, no, you just roll your attack, 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 attack again. again. <laughs> yeah, roll attack again. A twenty one twenty one hits. Yes. That confirms. Yes! Dude, hold up. Right. And how perfect is it that John, whose character is being saved right now, is the one that gives us the crit cards, you know? I know, it's awesome. I love it. So you have a choice here. John's going to read you the crit card, and you can choose that effect or choose the bleed effect, whichever you think is more valuable. But she's going to take seven damage because you rolled minimum on your damage, unfortunately. Um, But she takes that seven damage regardless. Let's get the card, John. Let's go to the card. Already got it. Okay, go into the card. Kinetic. Eyebrow bleed. Crit effect. The target is off target and takes a minus five penalty to perception checks until healed. Ooh, so off target's not bad. That's a minus two to her rolls, or you can put ticking bleed damage on. One Your choice. One D6 bleed damage on her. It's, is it one D6 or just one D6? It's Ziva's choice. It it's hit. one D6. What is off target? I'm go- Ziva's choice. I mean, I'm going with off target. Yeah, because it, uh, okay. it might make her not hit him, you know? Yeah. And also, like, the way I roll sometimes, I could just fucking get a one. Um, So, off target. Until it's healed, right? Until healed, right. Yeah. Hell yeah. Off target, for sure. And she's like, as a free action, she's going to be like, how do you like it, bitch? Uh, (laughs) Yeah. Not very impressive. Old stank mouth bitch. I'm excited. You old stank mouth (laughs) bitch. (laughs) Um, she is actually quiet for once at that hit. She says nothing, just kind of looks up at you with like, not fear, but kind of defiance, but doesn't say anything. Lashunta got okay, your Arne. tongue. Zeno is, sta- Zeno is stable at the moment. Zeno is stable I am at the stable. moment. Yes. And you ha- and your how many resolve points do you have? Not that many, right? Three. Three I have points. three. I could potentially use all three to put me at one HP, or I can use another one and risk getting the coup de grace. I can fight for my life, or I can put it put it all on in your hands. Well, all you've already hands. used one, so you can't do the you can't do no the no three yeah no I can't time. unless but if I you go down stable. again yeah yes yeah. exactly yeah yes I mean because the thing is. I can pop you with a potion, but she can, she's just going to smack you down, you know. It, all right. Oren just lively hops over this counter. It's, n- you know, nothing. Effortless. Uh, do, you know, jet dash or whatever. And he's going to just, like, surround her as part of this, like, encircling upon her. And Oren's just going to reach a hand out, and he's going to cast Fatigue on her. <gasps> okay. I thought you were out of spell slots. It's a cantrip. Oh! It's a cantrip, my guy. Let me tell you what it does. It's a necromancy cantrip. So I can make a melee attack against a single target's EAC, but I add my key ability score modifier to it. So it's actually much higher than that, uh, because my ability score modifier is a 5 for wisdom. Okay. 
So that's going to be a total of... Uh, it's going to be much higher than that, right? It's going to be five higher. So yeah, that's going to be a 24 to hit. <laughs> Is that not... So why are you getting this five? Because you make a melee attack against a single target's EAC, adding your key ability score modifier to the attack roll instead of your strength modifier if it is higher. Oh, okay. This is a this right. is a, a spell attack. This is not a so strength based 20, thing. That puts it at twenty four. Twenty four to hit. Okay. Okay. And um, that's gonna do it, right? Um, that's gonna do it. Yeah. You gotta succeed at a, a fortitude save. Okay. Against. Uh, DC 15. 15. Uh, I think I'm going to get it. 14 Dude. on the die, so... That's She's an 18. off target, does that... Yeah, I know. Okay. Oh, so that would be a 16. Then. Uh, poo poo. Damn it. Right, Actually, well, off makes... target doesn't affect saves. It just affects okay. Okay. to hit. Well, then... Who? It doesn't provoke a heck of opportunity, but it doesn't actually do anything uh, if she passes. So. Okay. Bummer. Um, Sorry, guys. I tried, tried to help. That was a good a good effort. It was a really good try. Um, okay. This is, this is a big deal, so I want to make sure we get all this right. So you can only coup de grace on a helpless opponent. Okay? What I'm reading as helpless is this from the book. You are bound, sleeping, unconscious, or otherwise completely at an opponent's mercy. You are treated as having a dexterity of zero, making your modifier a minus five, and melee attacks against you gain an additional plus four bonus, equivalent to attacking a prone target. Okay? That's what Helpless says. And then Coup de Grasse says, as a full action, you can deliver, deliver a special attack called a coup de grace to an adjacent helpless opponent. So do we all agree that Zeno is helpless? Yeah. I, I don't no. know. She's surrounded <laughs> by three other people. It, it, that, I just don't think that, that's not what, That doesn't affect whether yeah. or not he's helpless. <sighs> I yeah, I need a health potion to not, be hel- to not be helpless or to not be unconscious. Right. So it's an automatic hit and it's counted as a critical hit. If the target survives the damage, you must succeed at a fortitude saving throw equal to 10 plus the level of the opponent or the CR or die. Fuck. So that's going to be a 14, I believe. I think that's right. Let me... No, well, how much 15. damage does she have to deal? How much damage? It does. It, it, so, it's a it's an automatic critical hit. Right, but she's, okay. they, they still have to deal a certain amount of damage to actually kill him. So, if he survives that, I don't think she can do enough damage to do massive damage rolls. So it's going to come down to the fortitude save. Right. Right. Because because what's your total HP, Zeno? Twenty four. Twenty four. Okay. So yeah, she can't. There's no way that even with a crit, is she can't do 24 points of damage. I mean, even with a crit, does she get draw a crit card? Or is that with, maybe with a crit card, she could. Well, she I'm not going to count this as a crit card. It's just going to count as like a crit hit, for, like for damage. You know what I mean? Because yeah, 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 it's yeah. not even rolling for confirm. Or yeah, anything. you're not even fishing for a crit. You're just getting a guaranteed crit. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's basically okay. a guaranteed hit. Um, wait, what did you say that your total was? 24. 24. Okay, so actually there is potential here. I have to roll max damage to do it. And you are... Oh, so close. You're also off target. Does that do anything? Right, that doesn't affect damage. Doesn't affect. Okay, right. No, All right, it's so I don't do hit. enough. I don't do enough damage, so you're going to take one resolve off just for getting hit. I will allow you, Zach... Or anybody who has one to give an inspiration to Zeno on this save. Consider it his, absolutely. You have right, one? Because yeah, I don't. Yeah, I've I still do. got one. Can I he take more? I don't than have one? one. No, he, he can only do one. one. Yeah. Take use one. Take, per take roll. Fells, though, because Aaron's up in the shit, you know? He may yeah, take it. mine. Yeah, so take Fells. I'll yeah, and Fell needs a, 
a win right to to help because he hasn't got <laughs> much hit. So shit he's gonna he, he, he's gonna he's gonna try to bolt. He's just like speaking to you, Zeno. Get up, get up. Roll a fortitude save. This is huge, guys. What'd you roll? Okay, so I just hit fortitude. I don't know if uh, if I need to do that for no. There's fortitude not, save. There's a fortitude save. Okay, hold on. yeah, yeah. I hit fortitude save. Oh wait, no, I didn't. Hold on a second. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. Yes. There's that oh, okay, I did. Okay. All right. So what'd you roll? Fourteen. With the inspiration. Gives With you a the plus inspiration. Th- th- okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Gives you a plus three. Puts you at seventeen. You are still alive. <gasps> wow. Wow, wow. I just, only, I just have no words right now. Only because of nice. the inspiration, I'm pretty sure. You just saw the warden bring her sword right down into Zeno, like right into his gut, just and twist it. What do you do? The only thing that makes any sense in the world for Mike to do upon seeing that <clears throat> on a full attack. I'm gonna beat the fucking with a off with a bestial bitch. roar. Yeah. Yeah. Come Absolutely. on, guys. Absolutely. Fucking. <laughs> and he rolls a 16 on the first one and a nine on the second. Fuck. It's a miss. Two misses. It's a miss. Wait, double God misses. Damn. Yeah, I'm flanked. Yeah. Doesn't he get a oh, bonus for flanking? flanking? <laughs> that's right. So that's a plus two. So 18. To that 16, 18 will hit. 13 bludgeoning damage. You kill the warden. Yeah! Oh, and I, hold on, you give Get me wrecked. just a second. You give me just a Ooh. second because he, what? look, I'm a boxer, all right? He's been beating up the body, and anybody who knows boxing, I know you guys don't, you, be, you tear up the body <laughs> to set up the knockout punch with the head, and he fucking punches. I'm talking straight through her head. He knocks fucking teeth out of her goddamn gross ass halitosis mouth she probably <laughs> swallows some teeth like he's pushing her fucking nose into her throat you know what i'm saying like the hardest punch he's ever yeah, unleashed you, th- you all hear a sickening crunch as her facial plate just breaks under mike's strength and <laughs> mm. mike you feel satisfying feeling go through your knuckles through your wrists up to your elbow as you punch through her head and out the other side and you pull it out and there's all that's left is just a space where her bottom jaw used to be and she just kind of sits there her tongue waggling unable to articulate any words and then falls over and <laughs> falls over dead and we'll fucking see you hey we will see you oh, I'm not what? even mad no I'm not oh, even mad I'm okay with that I, I okay need, fine I uh, oh dear oh dear Dead <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Jesus saved my boy's life. Oh, uh, thank you. AP, thank you. This episode has been sponsored by Roll Twenty. This is how we roll.